this call is literally to uh to to explain to you guys how important and how uh just how crucial playbook is i am telling you um th this this in the next two weeks, we're going to go to a life changing event like no other. But I want to I, I really want to talk to the new people, the people that's you know, that doesn't that don't know what a what a training is or what a training can do for you. So first and foremost, my name is Jay Peso. Listen, man, I've been in this industry now for about 10 years. And uh, when I first seen it, I was working at FedEx Professional Boxing. I say that because I had no prior experience when it came down um, to doing network marketing at all. I was so raw. I mean, you have no idea. That's another discussion. But I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And um, I remember, I remember uh, my friend telling me that I needed to go to a training, and I did not want to go. I felt like I knew it all because I already had made some sales. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need a training. I don't need to pay. I don't need to, um, you know, spend any money on you know flights or hotel or anything like that. And um, so he asked me, he said, listen, and my money was tight at the time as well. Um, so I was like, you know what, let me just make some, some more money and I can get to that next training. And so, you know, I remember being on that call with him that night. Literally, we had four weeks, a little less than four weeks to get to this training uh, that he wanted me to go to. And, um, you know, I told him that I wasn't going to make it. And he said, listen, when you signed up with me, what did you say? What did, what did you say that you wanted to do with your life? You wanted to change your life, right? And you asked me one question when you first signed up. You said, how fast can you go and change your life? Well, I'm telling you right now, the answer is at this event. And I didn't know what he was talking about because I never experienced an event. I never knew what an event can do for me. I, I, was, I was oblivious to personal development, period. And, um, you know, I made a, you know, I, he put the mirror in my face and I made a decision that night. I ended up, um, I had some jewelry that I pawned. Um, I ended up, uh, you know, asking my mom at the time who I lived with, um, to put the flight on a credit card. Um, I took the last of the, the money that I had and I went to this event. Now that sacrifice was everything. Now, when I went to the event, I'm telling you, I didn't have no food. I didn't have no, um, not food. I ate, but I didn't have no money to go out to eat with my friends or anything like that. I had McDonald's money. I had peanut butter and jelly money. You understand that? Like I, I was sacrificing everything that I needed to sacrifice to take my, my, take my life to that next level. And I was, you know, another thing is I had a lot of faith, even though I had no money, I had a lot of faith. I was rich in faith. And I said, I know once I go to this event, I'm going to find whatever I'm looking for. And uh, I ended up going to this event. And when I seen it, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm, I'm going to give you a quick testimony on what happened. We sat in the back row of this event. And they made some announcements. The kind of announcements that we're going to have in Playbook. Excuse me. I mean, I can't even compare. Because what's going to happen at Playbook is going to be a whole different level of excitement, a whole different level. I, I don't even want to ruin for you, but the announcements, we sat in a back row. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I saw people that was excited. I saw people that looked like me. I saw people that was uh, different, like, like places from South Dakota, you know, places from like the middle America. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a man from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I, you know, I grew up in the, in the inner city of New York. And when I went to this, in, to this train and I seen people from all around the world that looked different, that looked the same, that, that was excited about life, that just this transfer of energy. See, sometimes it's not the training that's going to give you you know, everything that you need to take your life to that next level. Sometimes it's the feelings that you get and bring back home with you. And I say every day, if I didn't go to that first training, if I didn't go to that first event, I would have never brought back that feeling that I brought back to New York and lit it on fire. All of the fire that I needed was, was at that event. Sometimes it's not what you're learning, but how, remembering how you felt at the moment when you heard that thing on stage that makes your mind click, that makes your brain click. You said, this is it. You come back on fire. There's a, there's a saying called ignorance on fire. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I say all the time, if it wasn't for that event, I don't know where I'd be at today. Today, 10 years later, I've never 
missed a training. And I promise you, what's going to happen at Playbook is going to be the biggest, biggest event ever. I, I like the most powerful event ever. And if you don't invite your teammates, don't call everybody you signed up and bring them to this event, you're going to regret it. You're going to sit in that chair and you're going to go, dang, I should have called more people to be here. I promise you, that's what's going to happen. So um, I want to uh, get Pam back on the line and let her take over. I don't want this call to go too long. Everybody's going to share their, their, their experience at these events. And I'm telling you, the people that we got on this call and the, and, and the special guests that we have on this call, you don't want to miss what's about to happen because I've seen everybody on this call right now. I've seen their whole life change when they went to an event and you'll hear it straight from them. So Pam, back to you. Mr. and Mrs. Kalash, are you on the line? How you doing? Yes, I am. Thank you so much, Pam. The excitement here is like the adrenaline is just running through my veins. I'm just so excited. Um, guys, my name is Giovanna and I got introduced to this profession actually four years ago on January 10th of this year, literally four years was my anniversary. Um, when I saw the opportunity four years ago, like it blew my mind. Now I was excited just hearing the opportunity, but here's what happened guys. At the time of me seeing this, I was working about 60 to 70 hours a week as a social media marketer. Now I loved what I was doing, but I was looking for something more. I was looking for something big, something exciting, something different and similar to Jay. I had really never been introduced to personal development before. And so I saw the opportunity. I got ridiculously excited, but here's what happened next. My friend said, if you don't come to this event, you are going to regret it. I said, okay, listen, this seems like an incredible opportunity. I got to get to this event. I got to the event 10 days after I got started. It was in Orlando, Florida. Now, if you guys think I was excited from seeing the information, you should have seen me after the event. It was go mode. It changed my life. I mean, I've never experienced anything in my life. Nothing close to the event that I went to for the first time. It, I mean, just revolutionized my life. I went from working 60 to 70 hours a week to being able to change my life, travel the world and just see things so much differently, get introduced to personal development, meet incredible people, create new friendships. I even met my husband through that opportunity. And so guys, when we speak about playbook, which is coming up right at the end of January, let me tell you guys, it's the beginning of the year. You don't wanna miss an event that can pivot your life into a direction that maybe, maybe you never imagined could be for you. But I'm telling you, if you get to Playbook, you will see for yourself what can happen to your life, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to bring on my amazing husband because his story is phenomenal. Come on in. I'm going to make this really quick. Uh, when I first saw this profession, I... I, I got involved. I got excited. I had no idea what I was doing. And they all I kept hearing was, if you're not at this event, you might as well quit. If you're not at this event, you might as well quit. And I wasn't going to go to the event. So I was thinking about quitting. But there was just something inside of me that was like, no, you have to go. You have to go. So at the time, I was dead, dead broke, like super broke. So I had no idea how I was going to get down there. And funny thing is, it was in Texas, exactly where we're going right now. So I did something crazy. I sold the car that I was driving. Like I just sold the car, right? Now I'm not saying to go out and sell your car, okay? I'm not saying to do that. That was just something that I, that I decided to do. I just knew this had to be it. So I sold the car, I got down there and I remember bumping into Mark Asetta after the event and just saying, Mark, Thank you so much that he has no idea who I was. Right. I was just like, thank you so much. You changed my life. Six to seven months later, I was at a full time income and I can trace all of that back. I can trace my whole entire trajectory in life back to that event because it held up a mirror to me and let me know I needed to change some things in order to change some things. Right. So with that being said, guys, do not miss the next event that's coming up. This next event that we have, I know it's very close, very close. It's only a few weeks away. 
but do not miss it. I don't care what you got to do. Like figure it out, get down there. I haven't seen these guys, Jay Peso, J-A-O-N, Noel. I haven't seen them this excited since they like first launched Club Secret. Like I have not seen them this excited. I just want to get to the event so I can find out why they're so excited. But their excitement got me excited and I hope you're excited as well. So I will see you guys down at Playbook. Pam, passing it back to you. Izzy, did you make the call? Dead, uh, dead, what's going on? Guys, listen. Man, uh, this changed my life, man. <clears throat> when I seen this, this was this was two years ago, January 1st on New Year's. I was doing Uber. I was going to, I was working 80 hours a week. I was going to school to get my master's degree. Uh, I was, I was pursuing my music career. And I was like the perfect kid in the sense of like, go out and just do something with your life, right? And I was just going hard. And I was doing that for years. And I figured if I could do what my mom didn't have the time, I could I could change my whole life. I wouldn't have to sell my kids hope. And I, basically my whole life, I was just wishing and hoping, wishing and hoping, wishing and hoping. And this lady came into my car, you know, single mom with three kids and and just broke some down to me. And, 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 you know, it didn't really click right away. But when I got in, she was like, listen, there's a training three weeks from now. You got to get there. I'm like, well, where's it at? She's like, it's in Arizona. I was I was broke. I was so broke that I literally opened up a credit card and then I didn't ever even told, not even my team doesn't even notice at night. I was, I was, because they were stressing it. Like if you don't give, you really want to change your life. I had the too cool syndrome. Like I was already doing my thing on like social media wise and people was looking at me how far I came, but I had nothing really to show at the end of the day. Like my life was still, I was still in a bad neighborhood. I was still going through it and, and I just wanted more, but at night, what I started to do is I, I, I literally was like, man, they making it seem like this, like them. I might catch the Holy Ghost here. I, I got to see this for myself. Now, mind you, I've never done network marketing in my life. I was the guy who said I would never do this. I've always thought this was whack. I never wanted to be a salesman. I see my mom do Avon and Tupperware, and she didn't even make things happen. She didn't even know I was network marketing, honestly. But at night, what I did was because I was like, man, I got to make it. It's three weeks. I don't know how I'm going to get this money. I literally collected cans at night. I collected cans at night and I put them in that machine. And I literally was like, I'm going to make it there. I seen this lady on my block and that's why I got the idea. She owns four houses on my block. She's an Asian lady, owns four houses. And, and she collects cans throughout the neighborhood. And I'm like, there's no way she, she has, she, she literally like doesn't her, she has no pride to do this type of stuff. And I'm like, this is crazy to me. So what I did is I got up a little earlier than she did. I collected the cans as fast as I can. I put them in there and I never even told my team this. I thought this was embarrassing, but people need to hear this because I was willing to do anything to get there to see what they was talking about. When I got there, when I got there and I, and I was like, because I thought it was going to be people that I didn't relate to. I've tried network marketing years before and I was in it for like a month and I was gone. I didn't relate to nobody in. I was like, I'm out of here. I'll never do this again. And I seen people just like me. I seen people winning. I seen people crossing the stage, getting a hundred thousand dollar ring, million dollar ring, but they had average stories. Like, like, like they was just like us working at, you know, FedEx, working at Best Buy, working here. And I'm like, if they could do this, so can I. There is no way I'm going to let somebody outwork me. I'm already a hard worker. I'm already working mad hard. This is never going to end. I need to do something on the side so I can retire my mom, right? So I could, I, I don't got to sell my kids hope. And when I seen it, when I seen the vision, I felt it in my soul. And I tell my team all the, this all the time. I said, if you go to that training and you don't feel it in your soul, I want you to quit. Really, if you, I want you, if you don't feel it, that you in the right place at the right time. Because that it changes. It might be a conversation. It might be the training. It might be somebody you meet. It might be the journey. It might be the struggle. But something is going to hit you. If you felt like this was a coincidence or by mistake, you're playing yourself. And you might miss out on the biggest thing of your life. This changed my life. When I went home, I literally told myself I was never going to stop doing this. Like network marketing blew up my I think it's so genius to be a network marketer. I don't care what you do. You want to be a music artist? Slash network marketer. You want to be a banker? Slash network marketer. You want to be an NBA player? Slash network marketer. Like I learned leverage. There was two things I was missing in my life. One, one what that I learned from network marketing, how to really network with anybody, anywhere, at any time and how to build leverage. That changed everything. My kids will know this from the gate. They will never work for somebody. So listen, if you don't see what we see or if you don't get there, you're going to regret it. You're going to miss out. And you're going to wonder why this never worked for you. You got to feel it in your soul. You got to know you in the right place. Let's make it happen, man. 
I ain't never turning back. So let's do it. Trina Laporte, are you on the line? Yes, ma'am. Thank yes, you so much. Right you. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's man, listen. I am honored, first and foremost, I am honored to not only be someone that's speaking on this call, but honestly to be partner up with the caliber of people that we just heard from. And just to know that this is just the beginning and to know that there's even more leaders in the, in the chats right now. And it's like, man, I remember that time for me because see back in 2014, I remember seeing my friend's lifestyle change. Like literally everything had changed from him. And I was just seeing from afar. I was just going ahead and seeing his representation on social media. Like we, we were really close friends, but you know, responsibility, adulting happened. So, you know, we had lost connection, but I tell you this, I was watching. I was seeing things change. I was seeing the environments that now he was willing to go ahead and be in. I was seeing how he was smiling different in his pictures. And most importantly, I was comparing myself as to like, wait, the last time that I left you, you wasn't in that same place. Now I find you in a different place. I went in too. Why? Because I tell you this, at the time I was working full time. I am in the sunshine state, but I am a Brooklynite, you know, a New York by heart. And listen, I know what it is to work hard. I was working full time, running two surgical practices nonstop as an office manager. I was going to school full time, taking business management. I am a mother and a wife, which is two jobs on their own for every gentleman that's on this call. And most importantly, I also have my own catering company because I knew that whatever I was doing at work was just something for the meantime, but I was chasing my real um, freedom. And I just got nosy. And I don't know if you could say that I, I, I invited myself to the presentation or he just knew that I was itching already and he was already following the system to make sure that I was there. If you don't know who I'm speaking about, I'm speaking about my sponsor, J-A-O-N. And I'm so grateful that he followed the system. See, because he knew what I wanted to see and he, and he kept on bumping into my husband who you hear from in a little bit, but he knew, but he stuck to his core and he made sure that I got in front of the information. See, that career that I had, I left it. And in five months, not only was I able to go ahead and walk away from it, but I want to tell you this. It was a time freedom that I received from it. See, I've been a homeschool mom now for the past three years. This is something now that not only am I able to be a full-time parent, but so is my husband. We've been able to clear six figures within this industry. We've been able to go ahead and connect family members. We've been able to go ahead and create memories for people. And we've been able to help people get to destinations that they thought that they could never, ever be able to do. We've been able to go ahead and help single moms now go ahead and no longer have to wait, worry about paying for babysitters. And when we got introduced to Secret, we understood this. It was now additional memories that we was going to go ahead and capture because see now I have my we have products that our family members have been able to use but I tell you this all of this would have not changed all of this in our lifestyle wouldn't have been able to change had it not been because of the training event see my first training event I had two options my birthday was coming up we just invested my husband and myself separate and we went all in when we got to secret we went all in and I really was at a tug and pull at a, at a point. I wanted to celebrate my birthday. I felt like I deserved it. I've been working hard. I'm sacrificing even more to something that I don't even know yet what I'm gonna get from it. But I understood, my friend said, our sponsor, our great friend, J.A. Owen told us, if you go there, things will be different. We invested. At the very last minute, we bought last minute hotel tickets. I mean, hotel reservations. You know, we bought last minute tickets. We figured it out. As you can see, my schedule was already cramped. So for every mom that's on here, for not only the moms, but for the men too, that are out there working and doing everything that they have to do for their families, I get it. But I tell you this, there's no testimony without the test. There's no actual, there's no actual application to any action without the knowledge. And in order for you to go ahead and succeed here, you have to get the right keys and the right tools from the people that have the lifestyle that you want. 2014, I would have never thought that now we've been able to go ahead and take off the stuff of our vision board and be able to accomplish that. And I understand this, the leadership that we have here is the leadership that is going to go ahead and not only lead from the front, but they're going to go ahead and also make sure that we're excelling in the right ways. 
So guys, I'm going to leave the rest of the story for my husband later on. It has been a pleasure to go ahead and be on here with you guys. And I cannot wait to go ahead and see you at Playbook. Mr. Dewey Saxton, while I go on, you're on the line, sir. Definitely. It wouldn't miss it for the world. But guys, listen, everybody on the line right now, you are in a better situation than I was when I got into this thing. See, I was the first that, the person that invited me was a, a classmate I'd been 10 years. She sent me a video. I liked it. I went to a presentation. I signed up. And that's all my sponsor ever did for me. She had never promoted training. Nobody ever invited me to training. But I heard about the training. And to me, it was, it's kind of like common sense. I'm like, hold up, if I'm doing this thing and I want to get good at this thing and there's a training on how to get good at this thing, it kind of made sense to go to the training. And I went to that training. And, you know, I, can't, I don't remember what they taught. I don't remember what they taught us in the training. Only thing I remember is that they don't miss no more trainings and celebrate whatever you want to do. But what really happened for me was I saw how big this thing was. And I remember... I was there at the training on a, on a break. I was going to the bathroom and I heard someone say, Put this spring up. I used to do my, my music. Thing. And I was like, Yo, I'm in Kansas City, Missouri. Don't nobody know me over here. And when I looked around, I saw somebody who I knew that was a teacher. I was like, Yo, bro, what you doing here? He said, Yo, my, my, my wife's getting recognized for one of the top levels. So I saw somebody who I knew that was winning at a high level at this thing, right? Another thing, I met somebody in Jamaica. They told me he was making over $100,000 a year. I thought they were lying. I thought it was just hyping stuff up to get people signed up. But at that event, I saw that same cat get recognized for making six figures. And that shit blew me away. I was like, yo, this, this thing is real. So keep in mind, I went to an event that had 11 people on my team, right? Coming out of that event, the next month and a half, my team grew to well over 200 people. And guys, I didn't know anything more, but my, my vibe was different. My energy was different. Uh, my, my, my belief was different. And, and, and my, the, my work ethic was different. And that seems like the good part is for But here's what happened. Guys, everybody that's on the line right now, you go into this event, it has nothing to do with you. And here's what I mean. See, after my team grew to over 200 people real, real fast, and I thought I was going to hit the top of the company in the next three, four months, articles hit Jamaica. Uh, the person that brought it, brought, brought the, the idea to the Jamaica, joined another company and started cross recruiting. A long story short, everybody left except three people. Everybody. Imagine you have 200 plus people on your team, and then like a couple of weeks later, it's like three people on your team. Now at that point, it seemed like I had a decision to make. Do I quit like everybody? Do I go with them and join the other company? But see, that was not the case. Because I had made a decision at that event that I was going to finish this thing. So if anybody that's on the line, if you're in more organization, if I did not go to my first training, not only would I not be on this call, but you would not be on this call. So don't be selfish. If you're on the line right now, get your butt to training. Mr. Carvel, are you on the line, sir? Great, great, great night, everyone. Thanks so much for having me on the call. So um, my name is Carvel Bessley from Kingston, Jamaica. And, you know, I've been in this industry now for the past four years. And, you know, in my first year of actually building this business, in my first few months, actually, I struggled a lot. Like my first week, I made little to nothing, like literally little to nothing. And I, I, I felt demotivated. I felt like I really wanted to quit. I felt like I need to go back to the guy who signed me up and tell him that I need my money back because it wasn't working. But for somehow, you know, I found it really bad to know that I've never ever started something and then just quit like that. And I didn't want to actually begin at that point. So, you know, I started pushing myself and, you know, I actually go, went to my first training, you know, in Jamaica. We actually had like a super Saturday. And, you know, I saw someone there that was making a lot of money. And they, took, they attributed all their success to attending a major event. And I was like... I don't have the money to go to a major event. And he actually pushed me and told me that, you know, if I want to make the money that he's actually making at the time, I need to get to the event. So, you know, I pushed myself really hard. I got a few money. Uh, well, I got, I made some money. I borrowed some money from some of some people who I knew, family and friends. And, you know, I got to my first event. And to be honest with you guys, when I actually went, you know, overseas, you know, and, you know, I booked the hotel and everything. It was like, I think it was like 12 of us in one hotel room. And we actually double and triple up on one bed. And some of us slept on the floor. Some of us slept 
on, you know, on, in the bathroom. Some person slept on, on the cushion of the sofa. And so many people that it were, it were so, it was so unorganized, but it was so awesome at the moment as well. Because guess what? When we attended the event, we saw people that, you know, that was doing, doing it big. We saw people that was winning. We saw people that was super excited and people that were making way more money than I was. And I was super excited about that because these were people that I was talking about while I was doing presentation in Jamaica. But people didn't actually believe me that I knew these people. So I go into that event. I took pictures of all these persons who I emulated in the business. People were making six and seven figure income at the time. And I went back to Jamaica, I put those persons in my PowerPoint and added it as credibility. And my business took off. Like literally within a few months, I skipped two ranks. And that had brought me to a full-time income, which has led me now to have not worked a nine to five in the past four years since I've been building this business. So if you want to transform your life, get to this event, make this event count for you. Thanks for having me on the line. I'm back over to you, Pam. Delo mio, Mr. Rafael Vargas, former business owner, amazing husband, father, and friend. Take it away, boss. All of you guys got me on a thousand over here. I know maybe like 5% of what's coming at Playbook, and I wish it was this weekend, right? Uh, my name is Rafael Vargas. Um, my first event, right, I literally got started about three weeks before the next event was coming up, right? I got started back in March of 2014, and uh, the next event was coming up in April, right? And like a lot of people have said, there was so many different things being said, like if you don't get to this training, quit. Right. If you don't get to this training, you're you what you want out of this is not going to happen. Right. And the thing that hit for me was somebody said the people that get the training make seven to eight times more money. Right. I got involved in this in this industry, in this profession. I was on unemployment. Right. I was broke. There was no extra six hundred. There was no pandemic unemployment. Right. I was getting about two hundred dollars a week. I got started. My friend told me about the training. I said, listen, I just got started. I just paid this much money to get started. I can't make it to that event, right? And again, I started hearing these different people that were at levels that I wanted to be talking about this training. And what I ended up doing, it was me and three of my friends, roommates, right? We ended up renting a car, drove down to Texas, almost took two days, almost died on the highway, right? On the way to the event, we did not have our tickets. So we literally went over there ready for, for, for the event without tickets. But obviously leading by faith, knowing that it was going to happen. We got to this event. I didn't know what this industry had to offer. I didn't, I was one of those people, like Easy said, that thought I'd never do something like this. I was the person that would talk negative to people when they came, tried to talk to me about this industry, right? And when I got to that event, right, I started to understand I've been ignorant for a long time because there were people walking stage that weren't doing the things that we was doing. Like, there's people walking stage from all over the world. I'm like, hold on. This is a lot bigger than what I thought. And when I saw Marcus Center, which is the director of training, which is going to be leading the training at Playbook, Marcus Center is a legend, right? I seen Marcus Center come on that stage. I said, all right, let's see what he's about to talk about. I don't even remember what he spoke about. I remember how I felt, though. I remember I was ready to get out of that event on Saturday. On Saturday, I was like, listen, I don't need nothing else. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right. I got back home. My business tripled in the next 90 days. In the next 90 days. This event that's about to come up again. I'm super excited right now. I haven't been this excited in a while. Right. I maybe know 5% of what's about to happen at Playbook. And I, and I just have that feeling again. Right. I've been doing this for nine years. Right. Been able to make six figures, been able to help people create income, been able to travel the world, been able to do a whole bunch of things I wasn't doing before. The feeling that I have right now, if you miss this event, right, it was said to me and, I, and I'm taking ownership. If you don't get to this event, it's going to be one of the biggest mistakes you've ever made in your life. Right. One thing for me, when I got started, I was going to these events by myself. It didn't start to happen until I brought people with me, right? So you guys see us on here talking about this event. Everybody that's on here can attribute their success to get into that first event, to, under, to get in a better understanding of what we got our hands on. Get to playbook. Don't play yourself. Get there and pay yourself, right? I've been doing this for nine years. There's people that say 
you keep going to these trainings, you keep going to these trainings. Well, listen, if you was a boxer like Jay, do you train once or do you train your entire career? You want to be a champion or you want to, or you want out, or you want out the game early. I want to be a champion. And for the people that want to be champions on this call, get the playbook, get as many people to playbook and let's make this thing happen. Cause I'm excited and I'm ready to take this thing to the next level industry takeover legacy run. Let's get it. Mr. Nathan Galan. Did you make the call, sir? Man. Wow. Wow, wow, Ralphie, I don't even know how I follow that up, man. But for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Nathan Gallant. I'm 34 years young, based out of Tampa, Florida. And I've been in this industry now well over eight years. But I'm the person that comes from zero business background. I'm the first person in my family to go to college. Um, I came out with an education degree, became a teacher, because that's what I love to do. But I made a mistake. I caught me a DUI, and it cost me everything. It cost me my young coaching career. It cost me my teaching career. And thank God for this industry, because I went to my first training. I didn't have the money. I went on a 15-passenger van with 14 people. One of us was 6'2", which was myself, and another person was 6'4". We went from Tampa, Florida, all the way to what a coincidence, but I know God doesn't do coincidences, but it was to Fort Worth, Texas in 2014. I lost my license. I got my car repossessed, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just trusted the person that, that told me to make it there, and I promise I won't regret it. Here I am eight years later, and because of that event, that's why I met Marcus Setter. And I've been attending four his four major events for the last eight years. And I give him all the credit for the man he's helped me become because of not only what I get when it comes to business, because I come from zero business background and I was able to create a well over six figure income in this industry in my lifespan. In it, but more importantly, the person that helped me become, learn how to become a better person, a better listener, how to help build people up and myself up came from these type of trainings to fast forward. I went from getting a car repossessed to getting a paid for um, luxury vehicle through this industry because of the trains and how they walk you step by step. Have you ever wanted to be held by your hand and walk through a process? Well, that's exactly what happens when you go to training. Playbook is gonna be exactly that. Fort Worth, Texas, it comes all together. Everything you've been waiting for. This pandemic had people praying for things. I don't know what you were praying for, but I'll tell you one thing. You won't find out if you're not at Playbook. Thank you for having me in this call. I can't wait to see you there. Ms. Janice, did you make the call? Great evening, everyone. I don't know if you can see me. It's a little bit dark in here. Great evening. Um, I am so excited about Playbook. Let me explain. As Pam mentioned, I am a career coach and also a professional trainer. So I have been in the training industry for 22 years. So I'm not really, I, I've seen more trainers than, than, than I can even explain to you. And so when I got into this industry, I came into this industry understanding the need to understand what I had to do in order to be successful in this. And as a trainer, training is so important to me because I understand that if you don't know how to do something, of course, you cannot do it, even if you are a professional. And I've been a professional for over 20 plus years. But when I came into network marketing three years ago, I realized that I needed to be a student in order to be in order to be effective, in order to make uh, the residual income, in order to make the legacy that I wanted to make for my family. So when I first met Mark Aceta, and when I first became introduced to his training process, I was taken aback, a okay? Or I was taken back. I was excited because I realized that understanding what he knew was gonna get me to where I wanted to go. And so fast forward three years, we have, we have hit the rank of Royale. We have several residual earners in our organization. And let me tell you, Playbook is going to be the, the number one key to our success. We are hitting momentum right now, no pun intended, because we know momentum used to be what our playbook is now, no pun intended. We are hitting momentum now. And so if you want to be a six-figure earner, you cannot be in Philadelphia, you cannot be in New York, you cannot be in California, you cannot be anywhere other than in Fort Worth, Texas, when Playbook is happening. My friends, my family, my fellow um, secret agents, it is time for us to get this thing done. Playbook is going to be our key 
to our success as we are moving forward. I'm excited to be there. I'm excited to be here with all of you doing life together, being successful. All I can say is let's get it. Thank you, Pam and everybody. I'll see you at Playbook. Uh, Mr. Noel Laporte, amazing dad, husband, leader, and friend. Are you on the call, sir? You guys heard my wife's story earlier. And what's funny about that is that when we got started in 2014, for a couple of months before, she kept watching J.A.O.N. and showing me this. And she was like, we got to see what my friend is doing. He's doing something cool. It looks fun. And she kept showing me on social media, on Instagram. And I didn't know what it was. She didn't know what it was. But I was at a time in our life, like we were at a time in our life where, yes, money was good. Time wasn't like she said she was working hard, going to school. But me, I, I was 27 years old. And at that time, was making a lot of money, but doing all of the wrong things to get to that point. You know, at, at that age, we were married and I was a father, but I was still doing the wrong things. And, but when I seen this information and when she was showing me, Jay, I felt that we were too cool. Not saying that we were too cool to do it. I just felt like we were good because we were already taking care of the household, right? So what's funny is when we popped up to Jay's house and seen this information for the very first time, it wasn't even that. It was more the fact that when Jay showed me this, he showed us a different way. I was at a point where I was a three-time felon. By the time I was 18, I was doing three and a half years in prison. Came home, and the day that I came home, and went right back to the street to do the same exact thing, and I surrounded myself with the same exact people in the same exact environment. So you know where that leads. Like they always say, you either end up dead or in jail, right? That would have been my life. That would have been my cycle. Literally today, my oldest brother just came back home from a, another bid today, and this is what a what I'm saying, and I feel good about that, but where our life was going if we weren't introduced to this profession, if we weren't introduced to this information. So guys, we have a training event coming up in, 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 that in Fort Worth, Texas. Ironically, that was the first state that we visited at our first event seven, eight years ago today. Everything's bigger in Texas, like they say, but I'll tell you this, if you have big dreams, you have big goals, you have big plans, you wanna make big money, you wanna change a lot of lives, get to Texas because everything is bigger there. We have the playbook right now, more than ever, this opportunity, this is everything we've ever prayed for. This is everything we ever worked for. This is everything we ever said was going to happen one day. See, a lot of us been here for seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years. We've been locked in arms together. We've been a team, we've been a family. You know how that family got created? The training. You know how that culture got created? The training. You know how that belief the posture, the energy, all of that got created, the training events. Guys, I went to that training event, my wife and I, two weeks, 10 days after we joined. Last minute flights, last minute tickets, last minute everything. J.A.O.N. said, look, you already paid for everything. You just joined it. He said, come stay with me. I'm glad that he did it because we spoke. Um, I, I didn't even know him like that, but I felt good to be able to express what I felt and everything that I've been through. It was crazy. It was like a confession then. And, but that's the type of person J.A.O.N. is if you know him, right? But what this company did, what, what this industry has done and the leadership, it showed me that there was another way, that there was a way out. And it only happened because of the event. So guys, you may be on the fence. You may know people that want to go or saying they're going or haven't booked yet, whatever it may be. You need to call everyone and speak with the same passion. You don't know what's going to happen at this event, but please buy off of our energy, borrow our energy, borrow our belief, borrow our passion. You understand? Because right now, what we just heard and what we know, this is everything we pray for. Because that event, that first one, eight years ago, I walked away from the streets and I never looked back since because of it. I don't even remember what was said at that training event, but I remember what I felt. It was 12,000 people at that arena that time. It was incredible. And it was people that wanted more and were willing to help each other get there. Can you say that again? Hmm. <laughs> no, I can't say that again. That's Siri. She always talk when you're not talking to her. <laughs> but anyway, guys, get to Playbook. It is groundbreaking. It is life-changing. If it took a person like me, a hard-headed person that was smart but only knew one way, that would have put me dead or in jail for a fact. And I got to thank the training system of Marcus Setter and the leadership for showing me that that was the way to go. We've never missed a training and we never will. And we hope that you guys get there and promote to everybody. Cause round trip tickets to Texas right now are like less than a hundred dollars from every state. So everybody should get there. 
Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. See you at Playbook. Mr. Miguel Grandma Reed, are you on the line? Greatness in action. Take it away. All right. Um, so thank you very much for having me on, you know, um, Pam. Blessings, everybody. So um, as Pam said, you know, my name is Miguel Grandma Reed. So I was introduced to the industry in 2017, you know, and um, I was actually at a stage in my life, you know, where like I was confused, you know, because I was pushing the music for 10 years, you know, and um not working out, you know, going to college, everything, you know, and it's just not working how I wanted it to work. You know, um, I was sick, sick and tired of every single day after be, you know, um, sleeping in the library at school and all these type of things, you know, just to go through to get a degree. And the worst thing is that when I look on, my, you know, the lifestyle of the, the persons in front of me who got the degree were actually living like, I was like, I, I don't want to live like that. You get what I'm saying? A friend showed me, you know, this concept and in all honesty, I was pushing it, but even when I'm pushing it, I'm just naturally passionate about anything I do. But, I, I, but there was still a problem in my mind. You know, I was like, can I really do this for the rest of my life? Can this give me the life that I want? You know, can this allow me to, you know, alleviate my mother from the situation that she's living in a third world country? And I couldn't say yes. I couldn't say yes. You get what I'm saying? And I was, and I, and I, and I was like confused. But I was making a little money from it. You know, I was able to pay my rent. I was able to cover the expense. So that was giving me the drive to keep going. That was giving me the drive to say, hey, go tomorrow, present. But deep down, I couldn't have a long-term vision. I was like, just do it to survive. But guess what? Now, um, after, you know, I get to the first residual rank, I realized that, you know, um, there was like a next door to unlock. A next door to unlock. And I was trying to figure out how to unlock that door. And the person who got me started said, hey, grandma, like, you reached the stage. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, you're running mad with passion, like, all I have to say is you have done enough to show you the concept. I have to put you at the persons who are better than me. And that was one of the best things I've ever done, you know, because I'm um, a lot of time, you know, we think that we are the person to get it done for the persons who get started. And it wasn't that way because honestly, you know, the little money I was making has invested it back into the business. And bear in mind, you know, I'm from Jamaica, a third world country where, you know, um, 200 US dollars can do a lot. You get what I'm saying? So I invested that money, a couple hundred US dollars, a couple, about 1,500 US dollars to go to um, Kansas City. And when I went there, you know, like, I remember, like, something hit me because I couldn't believe that, you know, when I was showing all my friends in Jamaica and I felt alone, I felt like I was on this mission by myself every night looking in the ceiling, you know. When I look in the crowd and I look left and I look right, it was a stadium similar to like when Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi playing thousands of people. And I felt all of a sudden I felt connected. I felt like I wasn't alone anymore. People sharing the same story, sharing the same passion. And when I finally go on the Instagram and I type in these persons who are on the stage, they're living a lifestyle that I am dreaming of. And that's when I said to myself, you know, I remember when I look left and I look right and I was like, oh my God, like, it is real. That's what I said to myself. I said, it is real. It is real. And that's the day I stopped going. I didn't finish my master's degree because I found something that I could actually get. I looked to the left and I saw Carvel crying tears, real hardcore men crying tears. And that's when I said, you know, I'm going to be a network marketer. I was crying as well. So don't feel away. I was crying as well. I was, I told myself I was going to be a network marketer. I came back to Jamaica and the, 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 the stuff that I was stuck. And that gave me the passion and the belief and the confidence, you know, to look people dead in their, not even their eyes, in their soul and tell them, hey, guess what? We're going to put a couple of thousand. We're going to put 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. There was no number that was too big for us to call because the belief, the belief was ignited. The flame was there. You know, and we believe a hundred percent. You get what I'm saying? And from that, from that day, four and a half years later, we've been pushing, nothing changing. The only thing that changes, the vision get bigger because, you know, we can see not just for Jamaica, not just, you know, for the 40 million people in the Caribbean, but we can have a world vision right now. And that's what investing $1,500 from a third world country flying, you know, millions of miles away to America did for, you know, um, Jamaica a couple years back. Imagine what, what would be, you know, the, the worst thing 
is to actually live in America where you're not limited, you know, by seas and lands and airports and, you know, visas and all these things. And you didn't take that opportunity because trust me, everybody in Jamaica, you know, with the opportunities that limited by visa is going to make that decision. And I'm 100% sure, you know, so thank you very much for having me on the call. Back over to you, Bam. Big up, greatness in action. Um, when I saw this industry, I was a commercial banker. I was completely miserable, completely unfulfilled. And I just needed something different. I was a girl that tried over a dozen in multi-level marketing companies, direct sales company, and had zero success. But I knew that there was more to life than my nine to five. I knew there was more to, to life than the misery that I was living. And it wasn't until I met Mark Aceta. And then I met Mark Aceta, right? My life completely changed. And I do not say that lightly because two weeks later, I hit residual income. And that is one thing that we all need in this life is residual and leverage. See, and I understood then what I was missing from my life. And because of that, I was able to create the leverage that I needed, not only to live life to the fullest and travel all over the world, but have the freedom that I needed to do to just be a daughter to my mom the last nine months of her life. See, I don't know what freedom means to you, but it's doing what you want, when you want, however you want, as long as you want without having to check time or money. And going to Playbook is going to give you the playbook that you need, not only for your business, but for life. Now, without further ado, I'm excited to bring up to you my brother from another mother, Mr. J-A-O-N, are you on the line? Yes, I am, thank you, Pam. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Your stories are all amazing and so powerful. Listen, guys, I've been a part of Secret now for 13 months. I've been learning the system, <clears throat> learning the products, we, have, we had about three, four major events already that has completely changed my mindset, taught me exactly how to work this and operate with the system here. But listen, personal development has completely changed my life for the better. I became a better man, father, husband, everything. I used to be a counselor before this. I used to also be a club promoter. And this is what we do for a living. I, in the last 13 months, I look better, I feel better, and I'm helping people do the same exact thing with the real reason why we're having this course so you guys can know the importance of what's about to happen. Something big is coming. This training event that's coming up, Marcus said is going to definitely blow the roof off as he usually does, but they're making him a huge announcement. And this huge announcement can be the thing that catapults you and your business, your life, and change it completely. I'm telling you, after this event in the next 12 months, there's going to be so many lives that are impacted and changed. I will not say that lightly. There's no, there's no other reason why we're doing this and getting everybody together to show you. Look how powerful we are together at this training event. I'm going to look at everybody's eyes and see whose eyes and whose arms we're locking up together because we're about to go on this legacy one and take this thing to the top. Is somebody going to do it? We keep saying it, and it's going to be us. So I hope each and every one of you guys gets to this training event. One of the first things that I heard in getting in anything is if somebody has what you want, go do exactly what they do. If they have the lifestyle, they live in the life, they live in, they got the results, everything that you want, go do what they do. And this man that we're about to bring up is our special guest. This man has been through thick and thin. This man has been a good friend of mine, a good mentor. This man has been a brother. This man's story is super powerful. He is one of the top leaders in our company, one of the top leaders in our industry. He knows everything that's going on. And he ain't going to spill the beans, but we asked him to come in. Today is his birthday. So everybody give him a shout out. Tell him happy birthday. This is my man, the, 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 the founder of Chilling Worldwide, no other, Mr. Troy Brown. All right. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, man. Just uh, spent a few days out with uh, in Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona with Jay Alien. And thanks for all the happy birthday, which is I'm 29 today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Man, it's been a, a wild ride to this point. And, and let me, if you're new to this, you don't know who I am. Again, my name is Troy Brown. I live in Oklahoma. And I got in this industry about 16 years ago and had an anesthesia practice. And, and um, you know, I set out, I, I was making the money, right? Anesthesia is making a lot of money, but I had no time. And I saw this industry and I thought, what if, what if I could do what they're saying, create some leverage, can create some time back. And a year and a half into it, I was making more money with this ideal than I was anesthesia. I retired from anesthesia, haven't had a real job since. So I've done this full time for about 14, 15 years. And let me just tell you something. So there's this event that everybody's been talking about so far. And I, you know, I could tell you about my first event too, but I'm gonna tell, and it did change my life. And I have not missed an event since. I've been to every Marcus Hedda training in North America since I've been involved. And so, I'm just going to tell you this. There was a point in time about, I don't know, maybe 
uh, 11, 12 years ago. And, and I may have the time frame off just a little bit, but here's what was going on in, in, in the industry, in, in our company. Guys like me were making a nice income. I was making a big six figure income and, and making five figures a month, every month, month in and month out, no matter what I did, because I went out and did the work. I went out and took my season, right? And then there was this one training. I hadn't missed a training till this one training. I'd never missed one. And and everybody says, keep going, keep going. And and I kept going. And I love the trainings. I'm never going to miss one. But I kept going, kept going, kept going. And this one training was just a little different. There was something announced there. And at every training, they got announcements. And they're all good. And it, and the, every I can look back at every training and say that helped my business. I grew more. My team grew more. It helped this person. Help. But there was this one training. They kept talking about this announcement. And when the announcement happened, it blew the roof off the place. And what I saw happen was that people that were, they wanted their life to change. They were there. They kept coming to trainings. They kept coming. They kept the faith. They kept doing it. And this one training, the announcement was so big. It was so life-changing for the company, life-changing for the people that guys like me, I was already making a big income, right? Let me tell you what happened to my income. Right the week after, went up five times and stayed five times bigger for the rest of my career. It was five times bigger and more from that day forward. It went up, I went from making six figures to making seven figures. How about that? From six, I had people on my team that went from making a little money to a six figure income. I had people that went from right out of six figure income to making a half a million a year. I had people that went from making a half a million a year to making over a million a year. This announcement was the one that blew it off. Now, why am I telling you that? Because I think the announcement announcement that's coming this week or at, at, at Playbook is bigger than that announcement. See, there's some people on here. There's some people on here that were that are already privy to the information. They were in Phoenix. They heard the announcement. They heard how what's going to be rolled out. They heard how it's going to affect their business. And I got to think you guys are seeing a difference right now in those people. The fire, the their eyes right now is lit up because they know what it's going to do, not just for their check, for your check. But you know what? There were people 12 years ago, they were in my company with me and they had, and they didn't go to that event. They didn't get the feel. They heard the announcement, but they didn't get the fire because they weren't there with us. I'm telling you right now, it makes a difference to be there. If you can be there, be there, man. To be, everybody said it. They don't remember exactly what was said at the event, but they felt it. They, they remember the feeling. Now, I can remember the feeling of that day. I can remember what was said. I can remember because it was such a big announcement. But more importantly, I know the feeling. I know exactly where I was setting when they announced. I know exactly who I was talking to. I know exactly who was talking left or sitting left and right of me because it was that big a deal. You don't want to miss this one. I'm telling you with everything I got. See, I told you guys this a long time ago. I feel like so I, I feel like I'm such a position that we know how to build this. I've been a part of the we've been a part of the biggest marketing team on the planet for the last 10 years. I know we know how to build this. What we're looking for is stability, something we can count on, something we can have faith in, and something that's fire, something that's sexy, something that lights people up. We got it. We have all the all that stability with the products and everything we got, but we we want that sexiness, that fire that gets people to like explode when you show it to them. We got it. We got it. And you know what else we got? We got the man to take care of the company. Isaac Ben Shabbat. If you haven't met Isaac, come to the event, get to see him in person. If you, you keep hearing about this guy named Marcus Etta, come see him in person. You hear about some of these other people, come see him in person. But more importantly, come, come invest in your future. This is going to be a big one. I'm telling you, we're going to, for 10, 11, 12 years, we all look back at that one event and we talk about it today. From this point on, I'm telling you with everything I got, we're going to look back at this event. We're going to talk about it. You remember when? Remember when we announced that? You remember? You remember what happened to everybody's income? You remember when oh, when when this guy right here, this guy, he was just kind of in here doing a little bit, and that announcement was made, and he went to a million dollar earner. You remember that? You remember? that happened? That happened in that other deal, and it happened with the announcement. We're making that announcement at Playbook. 
get yourself there. Thanks for having me on, man. You guys have the greatest le leaders. I'm telling you, Jay Peso, Pam, J-O-N, all the people that just spoke, man. I, Jay was telling me, hey, do you want to speak next? I'm like, no, I don't want to go yet because I want to hear the stories. They were so good and so on point. This leadership, let's go take this thing over. Let's take this thing, make it the not just the biggest we've ever done, the biggest the industry has ever seen because we're set to do it. I'm going to tell you this. This is what I believe. I've made millions and millions and millions of dollars in this industry. For the first time in my life, I believe that I can go to work and make a million dollars a month. I really believe that with this right here. When you see what's rolled out, I believe it with everything I got. So guys, we'll see you at Playbot. God bless. Thanks for having me on. Man, I appreciate this team.